Good afternoon. Uh, we're going to read today from Matthew chapter 16. And I've shared these verses before, but uh, I just feel that I need to go in more depth about these verses and to help people understand uh, the basic uh, uh, understanding that there is a difference between the church, the nation of Israel or Yasharel, and the Gentiles. And uh, so we're going to talk about this in, uh, in these verses here. And again, we're going to start reading in uh, Matthew chapter 16, and we'll start reading at verse uh, 13. When Yahushua came unto the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that you are John the Baptist, some Elijah, and some Jeremiah are one of the prophets. But he but uh, he saith unto them, But whom do you say that I am? Then Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Mashiach, or the, or the Christ, it says in the English translation, Thou art the Christ, but the Hebrew word is Mashiach. Thou art the Mashiach, the son of the living Elohim, or God. And Yahushua answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto you that you are Peter, or Kepha, that's the word for, for Peter in Hebrew, Kepha, upon this rock I will build my church. And again, let's talk about the word church here just to clear it up for people who haven't understood this, that, that this is just an English word. The, the Greek word is ekklesia, but the Hebrew word is kahel. And the meaning of the word kahel is assembly, or it's just the meaning of a group of, of people. And he says, that, uh, upon this rock, I will build my assembly, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. <clears throat> now notice again we uh, the fact that Yahushua asked them, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And of course they, they said these are, that some were calling you Elijah, some Jeremiah, and so forth. And then he said, who do you say that I am? And they, then, of course, Peter popped up and gave the correct answer. And that the, he was, Yahushua was the Mashiach, the son of the living Elohim, or the son of the living God. And then Yahushua said to him that he didn't receive that information through flesh and blood, but he received it by the Father. He said, but my Father has revealed it unto you. And of course, how does the Father reveal things? He reveals it by his Spirit. And he revealed this to uh, Peter, or Kepha, that, uh, that Yahushua was Mashiach, was the Savior of the world. And so Yahushua declared that upon this rock, and again, he's not talking about an actual rock. It's more of talking about a foundation, but he said upon this foundation or this revelation, you know, re because of his understanding of who the Mashiach was, that Yahushua declared that he was going to build his assembly upon that revelation. And of course, that's really the way things have uh, panned out. You know, it's people who have recognized who the Messiah is, who have put their faith and trust in him, that he's a building, he the, he, the Messiah, Mashiach, is building his assembly upon the fact of people recognizing who he is. People who don't know Yahushua, they may know him intellectually, they may know about him, they may have heard of him, um, but they don't know him personally, they, have not, they don't have a personal relationship with him, they don't really have an understanding of who he is because it wasn't or hasn't been revealed to them because their heart is not searching or seeking to know the truth. And because of that, they're in blindness or in darkness even until now. But those that, that see who the Messiah is, and of course, that's what Yahushua said about himself. He said that, you know, that uh, whoever, whoever believes in him shall have everlasting life. And so it's someone recognizing who he is, putting their faith and trust in him that they, that he is the savior of the world. He came to pay the price for our sins and that we could have not only forgiveness of sins, but that we could have eternal life, have a new nature, become partakers of the divine nature 
And uh, so these, these, this is what the church or assembly that the Messiah is talking about. Now, I, I've talked about the fact is that Yahuwah, he made a covenant with Abraham. And then Abraham became the father of many nations. He, of course, he was the father of Judaism. And uh, uh, the, he said that uh, when, when Yahushua, or Yahuwah made the covenant with Abraham, he said, you know, that in you shall all nations of the earth be blessed. And of course, that's also panned out because the Mashiach came through the lineage of Abraham. And he, of course, he uh, uh, it came through Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And um, and so, you know, the this is this is the 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 covenant that Yahuwah has made with the nation of Israel, and he he made certain promises to them, and the, these promises that he's made to the nation of Israel are not the same promises that he's made to the church. Now, I've shared with you that uh, that um, you know that uh, when you're born again. Uh, whether you are Jew or Gentile, you become part of this assembly that the Mashiach is talking about, in which we use the term church just to identify the difference of, of who we're talking about here. But this is the assembly that, that a, a natural Jew or a Gentile, if they, if they put their faith and trust in the Mashiach, they are no longer considered by Yahuwah as a natural Jew or um, a Gentile. He considered them part of the church. And so it's important that you and I understand that because if you think that, you know, somehow there's these people who think that, you know, that uh, we all have to become Jews in order to uh, be saved, that's incorrect. Uh, there's, there's people who believe that uh, Yahuwah is not dealing with the nation of Israel anymore and, he, and he's now dealing with the church. And of course, that's not true either. He has, two, he has, he has a, a plan that he plans to uh, to fulfill with the nation of Israel, and he has a plan for the church. And so it's understanding that that difference will help you to understand how things are going to unfold in the end times. You know, Yahushua warned the Jews uh, against uh, the consequences for rejecting him. In Matthew chapter 21, verse 43, he said, Therefore I tell you that the kingdom of Yahuwah will be taken from you and given to a people who will produce its fruits. Of course, this is again Matthew 21, verse 43. He was speaking of the coming church, born again Jew and Gentile believers. This is who, who, who the Mashiach was talking about. It, he comes, Yahushua came first to the nation of Yasharel, the Jew first, then, then to the Gentile. But he came to the Jews, but the Jews rejected him. The majority of the nation of Yasharel or the leadership of Israel rejected their Messiah. And Yahushua warned them because of that rejection of him that Yahuwah was going to turn to the nations or the Gentiles. And of course, when Yahushua said in Matthew chapter 16, he said, I will build my church. He's speaking something in the future. The church wasn't around at that point. There weren't people who were born again by the set apart spirit at the time that the Mashiach walked on the earth. The Holy Spirit was uh, with them but he wasn't dwelling in them as he is in the church today, sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise and uh, guaranteeing our redemption and our salvation. So when he says, I will build my church, he's speaking of a future uh, time frame that's going to happen. And when did it happen? It started on the day of Shavuot or Pentecost when the, the set-apart spirit was poured out upon the believers in, uh, in Acts chapter 1 and chapter 2 uh, when the Holy Spirit was poured out upon the Jewish believers, and then they began to, to preach among the Gentiles and the nations the gospel, then the Gentiles began to believe the gospel and to be saved at that point. And so that's the beginning of what we call the church. I'm going to pick this up on our next uh, video. Uh, please listen in, and, uh, and I, we're going to try to just go more and more detail about this to help help you to understand because if you don't have a correct understanding about these different groups of people and the purpose and plans that Yahuwah has for each of these, then you will be totally confused by end time events unfolding. So I love you. Yahuwah loves you. Be encouraged. Our, the, the day of redemption is drawing near. I believe that the, the Mashiach is coming for his bride, for his church soon. And uh, boy, I look forward to that day. 
So until next time, shalom.